Hello everyone, my name is Chip, and as you can see, we're playing a red-white taxes list, which is honestly one of my favorite versions of taxes. We've got cards like Chalice of the Void, Magus of the Moon, Goblin Crater Maker. It's a bunch of really good tools that are able to shut down your opponent's deck. And before anyone asks, why aren't we running Cleansing Wildfire? Well, Cleansing Wildfire doesn't do too well with Magus of the Moon because it lets your opponent search for basic land. Even though the land is tapped, it does get them out from under the Magus unless we have Leonin Arbiter. I honestly feel like the one card combo of Magus of the Moon punishing our opponents rather than relying on a two card combo to potentially punish our opponents that also non-bows with our own Thalia and our Archon of Emeria just isn't worth it right now. I think if you're running a red taxes list, Magus of the Moon is the more powerful option, but I'm happy to be proven wrong. As for the new cards we're testing out, we've got Archon of Emiria and Skyclave Apparition. Archon, I'm not too sure about because we've got the Chalice, because we've got the Thalia, we might not need to limit our opponent to only casting one spell per turn, but the non-basic lands entering tapped is kind of cool. It's almost like a mini Magus in that sense that it can still slow them down in mana, and it has flying, so that's pretty cool. We're also running Loris of the Dream Den, combos very well with our Goblin Crater Maker, means we can get back our Selfless Spirits, our Thalias, or our Leona and Arbor even a chalice in a pinch. So that feels pretty good. Honestly though, you're probably better off with a seasoned pyromancer in this slot instead. Loris potentially being able to get you a card back from the graveyard isn't as good as seasoned pyromancer guaranteeing you two fresh cards, potentially getting some tokens down if you've got some stuff you don't want to cast. Also, because we're running the chalice variant of the deck, we can't run Aether Vial. So in the sideboard, we've got our Grand Abolishers for control matchups. And also again, because of chalice, we have to run Rest in Peace. So we can't even use our Soul Guide Lantern combo with Loris, we have to use Rest in Peace. So that's another argument in favor of Seasoned Pyromancer. The reason I chose not to run Seasoned Pyromancer in this deck is because I had already built it when I remembered Seasoned Pyromancer existed. Anyway, let's get on with some games. Okay, we win the die rolls, so we're gonna go first. I mean, yeah, we'll keep this. Hope to dodge thought sees. Just lead on planes, pass it there. Opponent leads on polluted delta, cracks it. Watery grave, untapped. Here comes the hand hate. Oh no, it's just a ruined crab. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> That's fine. What do we draw? Leon and Arbiter as well. Ooh, that's really good. Do we run that out first? No. So we're just going to go Planes, run out Chalice on one, and then next turn we'll run out Leon and Arbiter. All right, pass it to them. Also, if they're milling us, we have a Loris of the Dream Den in hand, so that could be really, really good. All right, Ruin Crab mills us for three. Nothing we can bring back with Loris. All right, passes it there. Another Planes. Uh, we can run out Archon of Emeria, then double spell next turn. Yeah, I like that. And Archon can attack over the Ruin Crab. Well, we can double spell if they kill the Archon of Emeria, which I assume is going to die. All right, they fetch for a swamp. Hey, that's a selfless spirit in the bin. That works well with Loris. Yep, drown in the lock. All good. Well, we'll pass to them. They get in for zero. Message received, opponent. Message received. Ooh, Simeon Spirit Guide as well. Okay, might save that for next turn. We'll run out Goblin Crater Maker, and then we'll run out Leon and Arbiter. Pass it there. No attacks from our opponent this time. No spells from our opponent either. Hmm. Well, I like Thalia a lot. So we'll run out Thalia. Do we run out Loris now? I'm going to wait till next turn or if they tap mana now. Swing in with both our doodly doos. No blocks from our opponent. Crater Maker is so good. They're down to 12. And they scoop it up. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well. Grand Abolisher seems good if you're a bit of a controlly deck. Rest in Peace seems good. We will get rid of Loris. I'm going to trim one Thalia and I'll trim one Goblin Crater Maker because the crabs, half the crabs are too strong for Crater Maker and Thalia be legendary. So they're going first. I mean, yeah, I'm going to keep. And it plays a Polluted Delta. Passes to us. Okay. Magus of the Moon. That's a Magus of the Moon. Well, we'll just play Sacred Foundry tapped. Pass it there. All right. They're cracking their Polluted Delta. They've got the watery grave. Untapped in our end step. What? What? Are they like a death shadow mill deck or something? I don't understand. Another polluted delta. They crack that as well. They get the basic swamp. Glimpse the unthinkable. Okay. We mill a bunch. Inspiring vantage as well. Yeah, well, you know what? It's just going to be rest in peace. Shut off the graveyards and we'll just see what we can do from here. All right. They play an island. Mesmeric orb. Okay. Mill a bunch. I'm not even going to look. Don't matter. Planes though. Planes is good. Well, let's go inspiring vantage. Run out the arbiter. And let's start trying to trim them on, is it black or blue? We've got the Grand Abolisher, so black. 
All right, opponents are land down. Oh, Field of Ruin. They're going to try and land Destruction as back? Because I'm totally fine for that. Ashiok. I see. I see. Oh, I mean, we got it. Yeah, we came here to Blood Moon people. All right, Ghost Quarter. Take you off that island. Exile Simeon Spirit Guide. That's a Magus. Um, so Ashiok represents 16 more cards. That's half our life total if they're planning on milling us. That's over four turns though. And they're not casting anything. I think we just go for them. Or we just skip through our attack phase altogether. You know, whatever. <laughs> All right, they mill us again, but they didn't hit a land. Okay, hello, Chalice. Ah, so we could cast Chalice on X equals one as well, but what's that really doing? Stops Fatal Push? Do we care about that? Maybe we just want Archon down? All right, we'll go to combat. We're actually going to attack this time. So we're going to be milling two cards from the Mesmeric Orb. It takes down a 22. So this Ashiok does actually stand a chance at killing us, doesn't it? I think we're just going to hit them though. All right, and then we're going to run out the Archon. All right, we mill a bunch, but we've got them on a two turn clock yielding to the mesmeric orb hey that's a crater maker okay that's cool well then yeah let's go to combat attack them with everything and then just as a little bit of insurance crater maker can come down and we'll wait all right they mill us again we are down to 10 cards in library oh they play a land tapped okay wait so it's a mountain but because it's a non-basic step oh oh it's so good well in the end step blow up the mesmeric orb all right go to our turn and they scoop it up all right <laughs> We lose the die roll this time. I don't think we can keep this one. This one's better. Put the second winds of abandon to the bottom and hope we don't need it. And it leads on polluted delta. Passes. Okay. Another chalice. Okay. Okay. We're just going to lead on planes and pass. All right. They crack the polluted delta. They get a watery grave tapped. Get a dark slick shores. Boomerang. <laughs> Boomerang. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Opponent's playing the coolest deck ever. Passes to us. Ha <laughs> ha! on Chalice or Arbiter? We're gonna lead on Chalice. Touche, opponent. Touche. <laughs> opponent plays an island. Wow, okay. Shuffling away our hand into a better one. So we lose our Blood Moon, but we do get some nice stuff. Well, I think I'm gonna lead on Inspiring Vantage. And I'm just gonna run out Selfless Spirit. Pass it there. All right, opponent plays a Glacial Fortress. Runs out to Fairy. Yeah, very fair. It's gonna bounce our Selfless Spirit. Okay, passes to us. Well, we're just gonna play Leon and Arbiter. And we're gonna take you off that white mana. Pass to you, opponent. Oh, it's not a white mana. All right, they tick up their Teferi. They pass to us. That's a Magus. Well, we'll go to combat. We're gonna swing it to Fairy. Yep, opponent's got the Snapcaster Mage. We're gonna play this and we're going to try for Magus, are we? Or do we go for Archon? Well, they're a control deck. Archon's worse for us. We're going to try for Magus. All right. They're off Black Manor as well. Pass the turn. They play a Mountain. Narset, yes. And they tick up the Teferi. So they are trying to get us empty-handed. So do we go... Definitely playing Planes. We want out a Loris or an Archon. We're going to lead on Loris. Go to combat. We're going to hit that Teferi. And if they want to get us empty-handed, they absolutely can. All right. They play a Polluted Delta. Yep. Teferi's Puzzle Box. So they're going to neuter our hand. And they pass to us. So beginning of our draw step, we're going to get no cards. It's a cool combo. Unfortunately for you, opponent, I enjoy this style of deck. So you're not going to get me to rage quit. All right. Well, we'll just cast our Leon and Arbiter. Go to the old combat step. Ah, uh, so Teferi isn't going to do anything this turn, is it? So we could just kill it next turn. So yeah, we're going to attack everything at Narset. All right, Narset down. Opponent shuffles away the hand, gets a whole new one. Mm -hmm. They play a mountain. Boomerang our Magus. So it's going to get shuffled away with Teferi's puzzle box. Well, that's frustrating. <laughs> that unlocks their polluted delta. They can go and get their white mana. Oh, oh, that's a Narset. All right, we are in serious trouble town. They're ticking down the Narset though. So what are they revealing? Eye of Nowhere. Ooh, another return target permanent to its owner's hand. Okay, what are you returning this time? Nothing? Okay. Oh, they didn't pay the Arbiter tax for their polluted delta. <laughs> Okay, so they get rid of two of our cards. Chalice and Amagus. We were looking forward to using those, but we're going to go to the old combat step and we're going to kill Narset and kill Teferi. Okay, and then that card they got to their hand is going to get shuffled away because it's a sorcery. They opt, it gets counted. Yeah, one mana discard a card you control, card you own. Yeah, I could get used to that. Petty Theft. Ah, on our Loris. Yeah, get rid of our Loris. Pass to us. Well, we're going to shuffle away another Chalice and our Loris for a Thalia and a Winds of Abandon. You know what? I'm kind of okay with that. Now, unfortunately, Brazen Borrower has flash. 
so we can't attack this turn. Oh, they had another Brazen Borrower for our Thalia. Interesting. All right, what three cards are we gonna get this time? Goblin Crater Maker would have been handy with that Teferi's Puzzle Box. All right, but what do we hit? I mean, yeah, I'm kind of okay with this. Inspiring Vantage, do we just Skyclave it? And get a massive token out of it? Arbiter might be better. All right, well look, we're gonna Skyclave because why not? Take the Teferi's Puzzle Box. No attacks from us. All right, they're casting their Brazen Borrowers. They play a Watery Grave tapped. And yeah, they're getting in for six. Sure thing. I'm not sure if we win this race or not. Sacred Foundry. Well, we're going to play Sacred Foundry. We're not going to pay two life. Going to attempt to cast another Arbiter. And yeah, we're going to try to race. All right, opponent's down to 14. All right, they play a land. Still racing. Okay. Both down to 14. Skyclave. All right, we'll go to combat. Swing in with the board. Opponent takes it down to eight. All right, well, if they got a board wipe, they got us. Gonna take a Brazen Borrower with our Skyclave. We are presenting lethal opponent. And they scoop it up. Yes. <laughs> All right, against this deck. Grand Abolisher seems real good. Go down the Archon of Amirias. Just run it back like that. Yeah, okay, run it back like that. Well, that's a Wicked Fast Magus, so we're gonna keep. And it leads on Polluted Delta. Come on, crack it. Please crack it. Oh, they didn't crack it. Okay, so they're gonna be able to get a basic. We could just go for a Fast Thalia, and then a Fast Magus next turn might be the move. All right, we'll go for that. Fast Thalia. Ooh, it worked. All right, now they're cracking in the end step, getting a Watery Grave tapped. Okay, Fast Magus next turn, come on. All right, it's another Polluted Delta. Uh, we'll go Planes. Hope they're F6'd. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> gonna fetch for a basic, I'm guessing. They did fetch for a basic. Well, non-basic lands are mountains. Swing in for two, take it down to 16. Pass it there. All right, they play a mountain. I'm okay with them playing mountains. Chalice. We could play Chalice on two. That'd be funny. That stops a lot of their stuff. So we can play it on one now, or we could play it on two, what, in two turns from now? Nah, we're just playing it on one. All right, well, ghost quarter down. Chalice X equals one. All righty, go to combat. We're gonna keep the Magus around in case of Snapcaster, so we're only swinging with Thalia. All right, opponent's down to 14. Petty Theft on the Thalia. Okay. They got a Planeswalker this turn. They play a land. Another Petty Theft for the Magus. Yup. Unlocks their lands. Boomerang on our Ghost Quarter. Okay. Passes to us. And we draw another Ghost Quarter. Run out Magus, because that seems to shut them down more than anything. Pass it there. Day's Undoing. Okay. Damn, we hit a good hand. Okay. Um, play a Planes. Selfless Spirit. Leon and Arbiter. Go to combat, swing it in. All right, opponent's down to 12. Ooh, opponent plays the one mana, you discard a card spell. And they use their one blue mana to do it, okay. Yeah, they play another mountain. They pass into us, okay. Well, we're gonna run out Sunbaked Canyon and we'll cast Loris. Just go to combat and start swinging in. Loris plus Selfless Spirit means we're not scared of any Brazen Borrower shenanigans they might be able to get up to. Pass it there. What you got, opponent? <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to empty our hand. That strategy is mine and I am very good at playing against it. All right, that was fun. All right, we win the die roll. We're going to go first. We're going to keep this one. So do we go for Fast Thalia? Might be the play. All right, Fast Thalia it is. All right, your move opponent. They lead Swamp to a Vampire Lacerator. All right, so Fast Thalia didn't do much and Fast Magus of the Moon would have probably done less. Oh, well, we'll go to combat. We're going to attack. Okay. We're going to play a Sacred Foundry. Uh, we are going to pay two life. We're going to pay two life so we hide that we have the Ghost Quarter. Play our Goblin Crater Maker, pass it there. Okay, they lose a life thanks to the Lacerator, down to 17. Pain Seer. Okay, very familiar with Pain Seer. Swings in for two. Do we trade? Um, not yet. Down to 14. Another Goblin Crater Maker. Well, that'll be good. All right, we're going to lose a life to run out this Leonin Arbiter. Goes quarter our opponent, and then we're just going to get in for two. All right, they're down to 15. We're down to 13. All right, now they're down to 14. They did have another land, though. Gifted Aetherborn. Yup, pretty gross. No attacks, though. Another Magus. Not particularly helpful here. We just wait. Could swing with everything. Then the Gifted Aetherborn just blocks the Goblin Crater Maker, and we're sad. Yeah. Okay, we're just gonna pass. They lose some life. They play a Diagraph Ghoul, okay. Vicious Conquistador. Swinging in with the Gifted Aetherborn. Okay, well, we're gonna block. Okay, first strike damage gonna happen. And then we're gonna blow it up. Cool, one for one trade, not bad. Another Magus. You know, this would be really great if we weren't against a mono black deck and stuck on two lands. <laughs> All right. Uh, run out the Goblin Crater Maker. Okay, no attacks. Opponent loses a life thanks to the Lacerator. We're both down on 12. They did get another Swamp though. Smuggler's Copter. Okay, that's a clock. No attacks from our opponent. Another Goblin Crater Maker. Right, well, that's about as helpful as a punch to the face. <laughs> oh lordy. 
Lordy, lordy, lordy. Um, all right, we're going to pass. And then if they're planning on attacking with the smuggler's copter, we're going to blow it up. All right, they lose a life. Down to 11. They play a pl uh, swamp. All right, so I see the inspired mechanic with smuggler's copter. How did I not see it? I used to run this. How did I not notice that? All right, never mind. All right, well, we're going to... Uh, they got no cards in hand. That's fine. We're going to let them loot then. They got no cards in hand. All right, they go to combat. Swing in with the flyer. Sure, you can draw and discard a card. Bye. I get the David board. It's a really good one for us to make a mill, actually. Well, now I'm just going to blow up your smuggler's copter. Unfortunately, they will draw a card with the pain seer because I forgot to look. Okay. Well, we draw the land finally, so we're going to run out another goblin crater maker. We could blow up the pain seer now. Would that be for the best? I think we're okay. We're a few cards up. We can start running out these maguses. We won't be able to cast any of our white spells, but we've got three maguses to cast in a row. Okay. Lacerator, they lose life. They're down to 10. Pains here. A swamp. Okay. Ooh. And they have a master of the feast. I haven't seen that since Khan standard. And they pass to us. A chalice of the void. We run that out on one. Couldn't hurt, right? Well, we're going to be taking five in the air, so fingers crossed we draw a way to deal with that soon. Pass the turn there. All right, so we're going to get to draw a card. <laughs> sure. Sure thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going to get hit for a bunch in the air. Oh, dear. Dear, dear, dear. Oh, a gifted Aetherborn as well. Okay. Now you swing in the sky for five. Yep. So we've got to draw a way to deal with that or we're dead next turn. We're down to six. I think we might actually be dead next turn either way. A ghost quarter. Mm. Um, so if we crack Sunbait Canyon to draw, what could we draw that deals with this? Nothing? <laughs> All right. Let's... Let's have a look just to see how utterly defeated we are. A planes! Yay! <laughs> All right. Um, we're dead. <laughs> All right, Dak, thanks for that. All right, Maguses can go away. Bring in the Mirren Crusaders. They're really good. Uh, Uriac Champions, also really good. Is anything else really helpful. Bone Crusher Giant, another form of removal. All right, what do we want to go down? Is it just a couple of Simeon Spirit Guides? Thalia wasn't too great, was she? Because they're not really running non-creature spells. All right, we'll trim a Thalia and we'll go down two Simeon Spirit Guides. Run it back like that and hope. Uh, no, this one is not a keep. All right, we're gonna keep this one. And I think it's Ghost Quarter to the bottom. Opponent goes Swamp and Diagraph Ghoul. Okay, we hit another land. Fantastic. Well, we're just gonna go Inspiring Vantage and pass. They play a Swamp and they run out a Gifted Aetherborn. No attacks. Passes to us. Well, we're gonna play our other Inspiring Vantage. And we'll just pass the turn there. All right, opponent does attack this time. Well, we're going to cast Stomp on the Diagraph Ghoul. Okay, we're down to 18. They're up to 22. They had another Diagraph Ghoul. And Drill Bit. Ah, they're able to take stuff from our hand. Will it be Loris or Skyclave? Loris, okay. They pass to us. Simeon Spirit Guide. Not particularly helpful at this point in the game. Well, we're going to Skyclave. And we're just going to take that Gifted Aetherborn now. And then we'll pass it there. Yeah, yeah, Master of the Feasts. That's one way we get punished for playing the Skyclave. All right, we got tons of removal. They swing in for two. We're not going to block. We're down to 16. Pass to us. Archon of Emeria. I actually don't mind that. Okay, well, we'll run it out. Pass it there. We get to draw a card. All right, Sunbag Canyon. That's another card in a can. And that's another Master of the Feasts. Okay, we're going to need to overload to beat this board. Okay, we're down to 11. So potentially dead next turn. Pass to us that is not our overload spell so we're going to play a sunbaked canyon i'm going to crack it that is another sunbaked canyon this is not the game to be hitting lands like this um we're going to play bone crusher giant out all right well we get a few looks more lands and a mirror crusader okay cool so we're going to die but at least we have protection from black victim of night on our flyer okay well here they come yep oh and they've got the the conquistador as well okay so we really need it this turn we didn't hit it we're dead oh we're dead <laughs> all right sunbeck canyon can we draw anything to help us Goblin Crater Maker. It's about as helpful as a brick to the teeth. Yeah, they got us. Rom Pumper Stomped. All right, we lose the die roll. This is not a good hand. We're going to mull. This hand is better. We're going to keep. I'm going to put Loris to the bottom. And it leads an overgrown tomb. Inquisition. Well, that's probably going to take our chalice. So sad noises from us. 
takes our chalice. Magus ain't bad though. Well, we'll just play planes and pass. No point rushing out a Leon and Arbiter if we can get him with Magus. They play a Marsh Flats. They crack it immediately. They get the basic swamp. Okay. Wrench Mind. Winds of Abandon Arbiter. Passes back to us. Planes. Exile Simeon Spirit Guide. Magus of the Moon. Hope that's enough. Oh, they got another basic. Inquisition. Sure thing. And they pass to us. Well, we got the Sunbake Canyon. We'll go to combat. Swing in for two. Are we just going to run out of Skyclave? They are just running hand hate dot deck. Yeah, we're going to run out of Skyclave for no value. Pass it there. Okay, opponent passes. We draw another land. All right. Well, we'll go to combat. Swing with both. Why not? Opponent's down to 11. Opponent does nothing. Passes to us. Okay. Swing in for four again. Yep, they're down to seven. Okay. They play a swamp. Yep. Smallpox. Yep. Well, we'll sack our Skyclave. Ooh, they had a spreading algae main. We're going to sack our Inspiring Vantage. And they've got the Fatal Push for the Magus. Yeah, well played, opponent. Well played. Okay. Simeon Spirit Guide. Monkey Beats it is. Liliana of the Last Hope. Okay. So this kind of puts a stop to our monkey beats. They pass to us. What do we hit? Well, Skyclave Apparition puts a stop to that. Pass to them. Life from the Loam's back a land. A couple of lands. Okay, so they're a Loam Pox deck. So they play a land, pass to us. So they could have Fatal Push here. I mean, if they've got it, they've got it. Swing in. And it takes it down to two. Do we run out the Skyclave? I think we're going to hold it. All right. They crack the Marsh Flats. They're down to one. They get the Overgrown Tomb. And they scoop it up. Okay, cool. Two sideboard. Mirren Crusaders are very good. Oriok Champions are very good. What do we go down? Uh, Archon of Emeria. Uh, Subpar. Do we want to go down the Maguses? Eh, they did hit him pretty hard, didn't they? A Lone Pox stack, though. So rest in peace might be really good. We'll go down Loris, bring in Rest in Peace. Ah, uh, does that mean we trim the Goblin Crater Makers? I'll trim one Skyclave, one Crater Maker, one Winds of Abandon. Run it back like that. Opponent gets to go first, and they're gonna have Hand Hate. We're gonna keep this one. They let us go first. Okay. So they are an 8-rack style deck then. Well, Inspiring Vantage, go. Urborg. No one-mana spell. So Sunbake Canyon, Chalice of the Void is really good here. Wrench Mind next turn. So Thalia might be better. Smallpox next turn. Still going to run it out. Shuts off a bunch of their stuff. Oh, they play a tap land. Okay. Uriok champion. That's not coming down just yet. We're going to lead on Thalia. All right. Thalia sticking around. Opponent's discarding down. Discards a Bloodgast. Well, we can't cast our Rest in Peace, can we? But Uriok Champion is still very good. Get in for two. Opponent takes it down 18. Pass the turn. Opponent plays an Overgrown Tomb. Untapped. Gets back their Bloodgast. We're going to gain a life. They're casting a Mind Drake. Paying the Overload cost, are they? So Thalia, Thalia, I guess. Yeah, they're an 8-rack deck. Oh, Chalice is brutal. All right. They pass to us. Another chalice. Ugh, okay. Well, we're going to run out Selfless Spirit, gain a life, and yeah, we're just going to we're just going to swing him with Thalia. Going to keep our Rio Champion back. Opponent's down to 14. Opponent plays a Marsh Flats. They crack the Marsh Flats. Down to 13. Gets a basic swamp. Oh, I suppose we could be tapping our Sunbake Canyon for Black Manor as well, couldn't we? Save a bit of life. Hooting Mandrels. Yeah, we're going to get a life pass to us. Goblin Crater Maker. We're going to cast it because it's the only thing we can do. So yes, Black Manor off our Sunbake Canyon. Yeah. Yeah, this is good. All right, well, we can undo that damage with a Rio Champion. Go to the old combat step. Swing in for two. All right, opponent's down to 11. Pass the 10. Opponent casts a life from the loan with no targets. All right, well, we need to draw a land this turn just to get him, because that'd just be funny. That is a land. All right, add black. Add black. Add white. Rest in peace. Bye-bye, graveyards. Go to combat. Just swing in for two in the air. All right, opponent's down to nine. They're hard casting a Bloodgast. Yep, well, we're going to gain some life. And they're passing the turn. If you're not attacking with Bloodgast, yeah, if you're not attacking with Bloodgast, I feel like you're probably better off not playing it. Well, we're going to go to combat. Swing in with Thalia, swing in with Selfless Spirit. No blocks from our opponent. All right, they're down to five. Pass it there. Maelstrom Pulse on our Chalice. Okay, swings in. We're going to block. Gobble up one of your Bloodgasts. You pass to us. And they scoop it up. <laughs> well, that was a bit of fun. All right, well, look, thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. And until next time, have fun.